What's up guys and welcome back to the Emacs YouTube channel and in today's video we're going to be talking about our new E8 transmitter and specifically how to bind your E8 transmitter to an aircraft you already have. So go ahead grab your E8 transmitter and your aircraft and let's hop right into the video and get them bound up. Alright so now we're over by my workbench with my E8 and my aircraft here. I'm using our Easy Pilot Pro. This will actually work for Tiny Hawk 3, Tiny Hawk 2. Tiny Hawk 2 Freestyle, anything with this kind of board right here, it's gonna be the same binding procedure, at least for the aircraft side. The E8 side is not gonna change no matter what aircraft you use, but if you are using something like our Tiny D8 that comes on some of our Hawk Pro Sport models, you're gonna to have to find the receiver button and also the receiver procedure on how to get it into bind. So this is just gonna show you on our Tiny Hawk models how to do this. So first, before we even get into the drone side, we're gonna go over our EA transmitter here. And I'm just gonna show you a couple of things with the EA transmitter. Obviously the power button right there, uh, you're gonna wanna make sure that this is fully charged when you go to do this. So make sure to plug in your USB cable and get your transmitter fully charged. And then also these are the trim buttons. This is what we're gonna use, combination of these to get into bind mode. All this other stuff, obviously gimbals, throttle, yaw, roll, pitch. Then you're gonna have your turtle mode switch, your beeper modes, and arm. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is to get your E8 transmitter into bind mode. So we're gonna go ahead and turn the transmitter on. Once you have the transmitter on, you're gonna hold your left inner trim and then also your right inner trim here. You're gonna hold both these buttons in and you're gonna see the light in the middle here is gonna to start to flash. That's indicating your transmitter is now in bind mode. So you can go ahead and set that off to the side. And then we're gonna also go and take our drone here and put this in bind mode. So on the Tiny Hawk models, all the buttons are on the bottom underneath the battery tray. And you can kind of see it right here. You can see that button right in the middle there. And the way to do this, you can push down on the battery tray. You can hear it click. So you're gonna go ahead and power on your drone. And then once the drone is powered on, you're gonna go ahead and press that button. Once you press that button, it should be bound up. So we're gonna go ahead and power both units off. We got the drone off here, and then we also have our transmitter off. So now we can go ahead and power on the transmitter. And then we can go ahead and power on our drone. Now that the drone is on, all of this should be working. So we can go ahead and flip our beeper switch. And then you can go ahead and see that everything's working as intended. Now, one last thing after you checked that the functions are working, I always like to hop over onto Betaflight and let's go over our receiver tab just to make sure all the controls are accurate before we go out and fly. All right, once you have your USB connected to your aircraft, you're gonna wanna go ahead and connect to Betaflight. Once connected to Betaflight, we're gonna go to the left-hand tab over here and we're gonna look for receiver. It's right underneath PID tuning. It's gonna be receiver and we're gonna click that tab right there. Now, once inside the receiver tab, you're gonna see right here this bar graph. You're gonna have roll, pitch, yaw, throttle, all your aux channels. And you're just gonna to wanna to double check and make sure everything is working properly. So I like to start with the throttle down here. You can see throttle. It's down low when my controller is in the bottom position and then I move it up and my throttle goes up. And the same with yaw. If I go left, it goes left. If I go right, it goes right. And I'm gonna check pitch as well as roll. And then my aux channels. So aux one, aux two, aux three, and aux four. So everything's correct here. Now if you get to this tab here and you just see your drone going crazy like this, and doing something weird, you know your channel mapping is not correct. So you're gonna to wanna to go to the right here under channel map and you could change this. You could change it to AETR or TAER, which this one's on TAER. So I'm gonna hit it on save um, just cause everything's working properly. So that's the last step before you're ready to go out and fly. 
Well guys, that was it on how to bind your EA transmitter to your aircraft. If you found this video useful, make sure to hit that like button. Also hit that subscribe and notification bell. That way you guys are up to date on videos we release on this channel. And if you guys have any suggestions for any videos or any tricks or tips that you want to see, make sure to put them in the comments. But until the next one guys, happy flying.